Good morning, everyone. Uh, many of us here today, including those watching at home, have experienced some sort of loss or hardship. And recently, our congregation has also experienced a loss of someone very dear to us. Our loving and our thoughtful Eleanor Senzimichi, we want to dedicate this song to you to remind us that in Christ alone, we could endure any heartache. So please join us. In Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my soul. This cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace, when fears are still, when striving cease, my comforter, my all in all, here in the love of Christ I stand. In Christ alone, who took on flesh, Fullness of God in helpless faith, this gift of love and a righteousness, scorned by the ones he came to save, till on that cross. everyone. My name is Elaine Wing. I am blessed to be the pastor of two churches here in Bergen County, northern New Jersey. Church of the Good Shepherd in Bergenfield and Calvary United Methodist Church in Dumont. We're glad that you are worshiping with us today as we dive into four weeks of a new series called God is Holding Your Life, a Journey of Assurance for the New Year. Don't we all need that? So wherever you are, whenever you are watching this worship service and the three to follow, welcome. We do not live in a land ruled by kings as the hearers of our first psalm of this series did. Nevertheless, the petitions of the psalmist for justice, deliverance, defense of the poor and oppressed, and peace for all peoples is an undergirding theme of our faith even still. We are reminded that a just society is one that proclaims these lives are precious and worthy of protection. God indeed is holding our lives. Let this be our epiphany in this new year. God is 
is holding your life. God is holding your life. We believe. God is holding your life. Yes, God is holding your life. Oh, God is holding. Let us join together in the prayer and response that you find on your screen. Holy and just God, you have shown us what is right and good. Open us this day to a vision of the world made all right, so that we might follow your ways and know the peace of your reign on earth as it is in heaven. Join with me. We praise you for your steadfast presence holding our lives together in love. Amen. Good morning, kids. Good morning, everybody that is watching. I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you guys are healthy and happy. Well, to start us off for our children's time, I want to invite um, you guys, especially the kids, to join me in reading this Bible verse on the screen. Who has held the oceans in his hand? Who has measured off the heavens with his fingers? Who knows the weight of the earth or has weighed the mountains and hills on a scale? Isaiah 40 verse 12. Thank you. You guys did amazing in reading that with me. So as you guys may have noticed, there was many, many questions in that verse that we just read. So I'm going to introduce a song to you guys today that actually answers all the questions that were asked in that verse and this song is called he's got the whole world in his hands so he's got the whole world in his hands who's he any guess guys any guess just shout it out do i hear a god do i hear a jesus yeah well if you guys answered god or jesus you guys are correct good job so let us hear this song happy so warm so loved and so safe right knowing that god has us in his hands he has your mom your dad your brother your sister all the babies in the world you and he has everybody in his in his hands right you feel so good listening to that song well we're gonna be learning the song in the coming weeks and how to do the sign language for it so i hope you guys really enjoy it because we're going to be hearing more about it in the following weeks so with that in mind guys i want to 
lead us in prayer. So if you guys could join me, bow your heads and close your eyes. Heavenly Father, thank you for loving us. Thank you for holding us in this world in your hands. Help us love each other as you have loved us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our first scripture reading today is from Psalm 72, verses 1 to 7, verses 10 to 14, and verses 18 to 19. The psalm is dedicated to King Solomon, but what other king might it allude to? Let us open our hearts to the word of God. O God, give your anointed one your judgment and your justice. Teach your chosen one to govern your people rightly and bring justice to the oppressed. The mountains will bring the people peace and the little hills bring justice. Your anointed will defend the oppressed among the people, save the children of the poor and crush the oppressor. The reign of your anointed will endure as long as the sun and moon throughout all generations. The rule of the chosen one will be like rain coming down on the meadow, like showers watering the earth. Justice will flower through the days and abundance of peace till the moon shall be no more. Tarshish and the Isles will offer gifts. Arabia and Sheba will bring tribute. All rulers will pay homage, and all the nations will serve your anointed. Your anointed will rescue the poor when they cry out, and the oppressed when there is no one to help them. Your chosen one will take pity on the lowly and the poor, and will save their lives. Your chosen one will rescue them all from violence and oppression, and will treat their blood as precious. Praise be to the Lord God, the God of Israel, who alone does marvelous deeds. Praise be to his glorious name forever, and may the whole earth be filled with his glory. Amen and amen. Psalm 72 was likely written for the coronations of kings, perhaps beginning with King Solomon. How timely, given our recent inauguration of a new president and administration in our nation. The attributes of a just and righteous king are listed after the first lines, indicating that we are about to hear how the king will be judged. Again, so relevant as political pundits on both parties and all across our nation continue their dissection of past and current political leaders. Yet, this psalm is not just about men and women who serve as kings and queens. It is about the King of Kings, Jesus the Christ. It is about the justice and how goodness begets goodness, something we've seen again and again during the pandemic. It is a psalm perfectly suited for our epiphany, the discovery and seeing the exchange of love between our divine God and ourselves, the praise of all creation for their creator. And perhaps most importantly in this time of worship, it is written to help us embrace our own beloved nature and desire that all individuals might see themselves as precious in God's sight. Throughout this worship series, we will be treated to songs written as interpretations of the Psalms by composer Richard Bruxford Colligan. Richard has given us the gift of easy to remember lyrics and visuals that speak to God's word. Today's song video features images of tender plants that need sun and water to grow. Can we imagine that all people with their tender hearts are yearning for such sustenance? That you and I also yearn for God's daily bread? Do we believe that lives are precious and a bit precarious and in need of tender care? How will we live that out this new year of 2021? Whenever there are next stepped upon a line in Richard's song, whether physically, economically, or socially, our whole society suffers. 
So let us pray for the kind of rule of the land that honors each precious life. And may we know that we are loved and called to love in extraordinary ways. Amen and amen. You're the goodness reigning on the farmland. Your peace sprouting in the mountain fields. You're a harvest of the love and justice ripening to feed and heal. These lives are precious. These lives are precious, you know. These lives are precious. All oh, these lives are precious, you know. This worship series invites us to not just listen passively, but to actively reflect upon and give thanks to how God is holding our lives. Today, Julia Remat is sharing. I invite any of you who are watching this worship series to speak to me via email or text somehow reach out to me and let me know that you would like to share how God is holding your life. If you like, you can do that by submitting a short video, but let's talk about that. So please do reach out to me. In the meantime, let us hear Julia's sharing. Hello everyone, I'm so glad to share my experience how God is holding my life. Um, Sometimes I feel I learned it better being separated from my children and family. In the midst of loneliness, I found God. There were times when I was giving up. He spoke with me through people. He bring people and place them in my life as missing pieces of puzzle to restore me emotionally and spiritually. He prov provided for every resource that I need. Uh, God comforted me in, in prayers. I landed in um, healthcare um, during COVID-19 pandemic. God is always there holding my hand um, when I go out and serve people and work in the front line. 
I found him in control of my life more than before during this two and a half years of my life. I'm standing on his promises. He's moving every mountain in my life, which I thought is impossible. Um, so I, then I would say that no matter how hard your situation is, if God is in control, you come out stronger and better. The Psalms have a repeated direction throughout the word Selah. Scholars are not sure exactly what it means. Perhaps because the Psalms were to be used in worship, we can surmise that the word indicates a pause or an invitation for a musical instrument to be played or a song to be sung quietly. The sound reminds us to take a pause, a breath, and remember that the settling of our hearts can offer the feeling that we are held in the hands of the divine. After the musical offering, we'll have a brief time of silence. Feel free to close your eyes if you like. Imagine yourself held in safety and love and care. Each week, we will have a moment to write prayer concerns on small pieces of paper. We will then place these prayers into a container, a bowl, a basket, a box, a jar. This is a symbolic action of placing your prayers in God's hands, God's care. We invite you now to take a moment to write down your prayer concerns, words of confession, prayers of thanksgiving on paper. One or a few words are all that's needed. You will know what your heart is saying to God by a single word reference. Let us continue our prayers. Noemi will offer a category of concern and will allow a brief pause. Then we will respond as indicated. As a prayer posture for this worship series, I invite you to cup your hands, ready to receive God's love and peace and in preparation to be God's love and peace in the world. Let us pray for the leaders of this world and this church community. God of justice, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those who live in conflict around the world. Prince of Peace, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who are experiencing loss of any kind in this pandemic. We especially pray for the families of our sisters in Christ, Eleanor Sensamitsi and Dottie Carlson, who passed into your arms this week. Comforting healer, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those who are homeless, hungry, and alone. Emmanuel, God with us, hear our prayer. 
Let us pray for those who live in comfort, that they may offer Christ-like hospitality and generosity. Transforming Spirit, hear our prayer. Holy and Living One, for those we have named and the ones whose names we do not know, hear our prayer. Now let us raise our voices together wherever we may be and offer the prayer Jesus taught us, the disciples long ago. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.
with me. I would like you all to be invited at this time to give of yourself, to think of how you might give your time, your talents, your presence, and your financial offerings to God's ministries so that the ministries of both Church of the Good Shepherd and Calvary continue to grow and nurture God's people throughout this area. We're doing an awful lot to help people in the name of Jesus Christ. If you're able to support us at any level, we would appreciate that. And we also want to give you this opportunity because it's part of being a disciple of Jesus Christ. Our giving is our way of recognizing from whom all of our blessings flow. The options for you to do this are seen on your screen at this time. We invite you to follow through as you are able, and we thank you. Please join with me in the spirit of prayer as we give thanks for these gifts. Gracious and loving God, you are so generous. Your gifts abound. We fail to see all the blessings that continuously rain down upon us. So first, we give you thanks. We give you thanks for your daily bread, for your provision in our life, for the way that you nurture us in body, mind, and soul. We give thanks for the opportunities that abound to serve you, to be your conduit, your instrument of peace, of justice, of love, and compassion. We give thanks, Lord, even for the hard things that come our way, because they offer us the opportunity to grow in the gifts of trust and faith and to know you more deeply. So use these gifts that are coming to you, Lord, whether they come through the mail or electronically. Use our time, our presence, and our talents that we might be for you the hands and the heart of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. I'd like to offer a way for us to pass the peace as we prepare to receive the benediction. As we carry this time of worship into the rest of our day and our week, I invite you to join with me symbolically, passing the peace to one another, whoever you're with at this time of worship, or to those in the world. Will you make a gesture of extending your cupped hands towards those you're worshiping with? or if you're alone, to cup your hands and place them over your heart as a sign of offering the peace that Christ gives us and as a sign that we are offering our heartfelt peace out into the world. Give thanks for strong yet tender hands held out in trust and blessing. Where words fall short, let hands speak out the heights of love expressing. Let us go into the world in the knowledge that God is holding our life, even as we hold each other. Friends, you are not alone. We are loved by God. We are precious in his sight. Amen.
close to Thee. Let it be, dear Lord. Let it be. Through this world of toil and snares, if I falter, Lord, who cares? to walk with thee. Granted, Jesus is my plea. Daily walking close to thee. Let it be. life is over. Time for me will be no more. God me gently, safely over to that shore. Thank you.